हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू कंप्यूट एरिया ऑफ द गिवन रीजन यूजिंग डबल इंटीग्रल्स इन पर्टिकुलरली आई एम गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द एरिया ऑफ द रीजन डिस्क्राइब्ड इन अ पोलार कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम नोट दैट इफ द रीजन इन पोलार कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम इज बाउंडेड बाई दर्व आर इज इक्वल टू एफ वन थीटा आर इज इक्वल टू एफ टू थीटा एंड theta is equal to theta 1 and theta 2 then its area can be calculated using double integrals as follows area is given as double integral of r dr d theta over the limits f1 theta to f2 theta and theta 1 to theta 2 now let us see examples based on this concept In this first example, we are asked to find by double integration the area bounded by r is equal to 2a sine theta and r is equal to 2b sine theta, where a is less than b. Now let's take a look of the step by step solution. Very first of all, we'll draw the region whose area we wanted to find out. Here, the given region is bounded by r is equal to 2a sine theta and r is equal to 2b sine theta. to draw these curves we first convert them from polar to cartesian coordinates by substituting x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta therefore we know x square plus y square is equal to r square now consider the equation r is equal to 2a sin theta multiplying both sides of this equation by r we get r square is equal to 2a r sin theta and we know r square is x square plus y square So this LHS becomes x square plus y square, and we know r sine theta is nothing but y. So we have x square plus y square is equal to two a y. This is an equation of a circle of the type x square plus y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c is equal to zero, whose center is given by coordinates minus g comma minus f, and radius is given by the formula. under root of g square plus f square minus c so when you compare this equation with this one we will get its center as 0 comma a and radius as a now consider the another equation r is equal to 2b sin theta multiplying throughout this equation by r we get r square is equal to 2b r sin theta once again we replace this r square by x square plus y square and this r sin theta by y we get x square plus y square is equal to 2by after comparing this equation with this standard equation of the circle we see this is a circle centered at 0 comma b and radius b now let us draw these circles centered at 0 comma a with radius a and center at 0 comma b with radius b assume these are those two circles this inside circle is R is equal to 2a sine theta and outside circle is R is equal to 2b sine theta. Therefore, the region bounded by these two circles is this one. Now let us find area of this shaded part. Now note that this region is symmetric about y-axis, so it is enough to find a right half of the area and multiply it by two to get the entire area. therefore we write area is equal to twice the area of the right half of this shaded part now we will write limits only for this right half of the shaded part over here modulus r varies from this inside circle to outside circle equation of the inside circle is r is equal to 2a sin theta so modulus r varies from 2a sin theta to this outside circles equation is r is equal to 2b sin theta so its upper limit is 2b sin theta so modulus r will have lower limit 2a sin theta and upper limit 2b sin theta now let us focus on theta's limits here we see that this region touches positive x axis as well as positive y axis so here theta varies from positive x axis to positive y axis that means it varies from 0 to pi by 2 so theta limits are 0 to pi by 2 I hope you understood these limits. Now let us proceed for evaluation of this integral. First, we evaluate inside integral. We have to evaluate it with respect to dr. Integration of r will be then r square upon two. 
over the limit 2a sin theta to 2b sin theta. This half we can take out and it will get cancelled with this outside 2. Then we substitute these limits in R. So we have 2b whole square that is 4b square sin square theta minus 2a square that is 4a square into sin square theta. This sin square theta is common in both the term. So we take it out. So inside we have 4b square minus 4a square. It will go out as it is constant. So we left with integral of sin square theta d theta from 0 to pi by 2. Now we use identity cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta and we write this sin square theta as 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. Now we integrate 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 with respect to d theta. You can take this to outside. So integral of 1 is theta. Integral of cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta upon 2. This 2 after taking out will get cancelled with this 4. So we will have 2 in the numerator. Now let us substitute these limits in theta. So we have pi by 2 minus sin 2 pi by 2 that 2 2 will get cancelled sin pi is 0. So we will have pi by 2 minus 0. Later on we will substitute 0 in theta. So it becomes 0 here minus sin 0 is 0 again. So after substituting lower limit everywhere we are getting 0. So we left with only pi by 2. This 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. So final value of this integral is b square minus a square into pi. So this is area of the region bounded by these two circles. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let us proceed for second one. Here we are asked to find by double integration the area outside the circle r is equal to a and inside the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. Guys you are aware about these circles but you may not be aware about this cardioid figure r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. For that I would like to suggest you to watch my video on a rectification of curves link of which is given in the description box. In that video I have described how these cardioids looks like. Now let us proceed for step by step solution. First we draw the region whose area we wanted to find out. This region is bounded by the curves r is equal to a and r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. Now let us convert these equations from polar to Cartesian coordinates so that we can draw them on Cartesian plane. For that we put x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. Therefore x square plus y square is equal to r square. Consider this equation r is equal to a. Taking square on both sides, we get r square is equal to a square, but r square is x square plus y square. Therefore, we have equation x square plus y square is equal to a square. Note that this is a circle centered at origin and radius a. And the another equation which is r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta is a cardioid along x axis pointing to the right side. So it is an apple shape figure pointing to the right side. So it will look like this. So this blue color is a circle whose equation is r is equal to a that is x square plus y square is equal to a square and this red color shape is cardioid whose equation is r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. I hope guys you understood these two figures. Now we have to shade the area which is outside the circle r is equal to a and inside the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. So you can clearly guess the what is the region. So this is the required region whose area we wanted to find out. Note that this area is symmetric about x axis. So it is enough to find out area above the x axis and multiply it by 2 so that we can get complete area. So here area can be given by twice the upper half area of this shaded part. So these limits are calculated only for this upper half of the area. First we calculate limits for modulus r. Here r is varying from this circle 
टू कार्डिओइड ऑन सर्कल आर इज ए एंड ऑन दिस कार्डिओइड आर इज ए इंटू वन प्लस कॉस थीटा सो आर वैर इज फ्रॉम ए टू ए इंटू वन प्लस कॉस थीटा नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट लिमिट्स ऑफ थीटा हियर दिस रीजन इज वैरिंग फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव एक्स एक्सिस to positive y axis so theta varies from positive x axis to positive y axis that is it varies from 0 to pi by 2 so these are the limits for r and theta i hope you understood these limits now we proceed for evaluation part first the inside integral with respect to dr so its integration is going to be r square by 2 over the limit a to a into 1 plus cos theta we can take this 1 by 2 outside as it is constant and it will get cancel with this outside 2 then we substitute these limits in r square so we get a square into 1 plus cos theta the whole square minus a square now this a square a square is common in both terms we can take it out so we left with 1 plus cos theta the whole square minus 1 1 plus cos theta the whole square is 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta minus 1 as it is now this 1 and this minus 1 will get cancel we can easily find integral of 2 cos theta but for cos square theta we have to use the identity cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 which gives us cos square theta as cos 2 theta plus 1 upon 2 now let us integrate 2 cos theta integration of 2 cos theta is 2 sin theta integration of cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta upon 2 and integration of 1 is theta this 1 by 2 is taken out over here over the limit 0 to pi by 2 now let us substitute these limits in theta when we substitute this upper limit pi by 2 in theta we get 2 sin pi by 2 and sin pi by 2 is 1 so we have 2 into 1 that is 2 plus half sin into 2 pi by 2 that 2 2 gets cancelled sin pi is left sin pi is 0 so this number becomes 0 plus pi by 2 then we substitute the lower limit 0 in theta sin 0 is 0 sin 2 0 is also 0 when we put 0 here this also becomes 0 so after substituting lower limit all terms become 0 so we left with a square 2 here half as it is sin 0 here plus pi by 2 as it is when we simplify this we end up with final solution to this double integral as a square into 2 plus pi by 4 so this is the area bounded by circle r is equal to a and the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta i hope guys you understood this example so let us go for next example example number 3 Here we are asked to find by double integration the area common to the cardioids r is equal to a into one minus cos theta and r is equal to a into one plus cos theta. Let us see the solution part. First, we draw the region whose area we wanted to find out. Here, region is bounded by the cardioids r is equal to a into one minus cos theta and r is equal to a into one plus cos theta. R is equal to a into one minus cos theta is the cardioid along x-axis pointing to the left side, and r is equal to a into one plus cos theta is the cardioid along x-axis pointing to the right side. So these two cardioids can be shown in this way. This blue color is the cardioid whose equation r is equal to a into one minus cos theta, and this red color is the cardioid r is equal to a into one plus cos theta. so the region bounded by these two cardioids is this shaded part note that this region shaded over here is symmetric about x as well as y axis so it is enough to find out only area in the first quadrant and then we will multiply it by 4 to get the total area So area here can be given by four times double integral of r dr d theta over the limits of the area in the first quadrant. So look at here in first quadrant, our modulus is varying from this y-axis to this cardioid r is equal to a into one minus cos theta. So over here modulus is zero, and on this blue line 
modulus is r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. So r varies from 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta. And for theta, you see that this region touches positive x-axis as well as positive y-axis. So theta varies from 0 to pi by 2. I hope you understood these limits. Now let us evaluate this inside integral with respect to r. Integration of r with respect to dr is r square by 2 over the limit 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta. Now you can take out this half and substitute these upper and lower limits in r. We get a square into 1 minus cos theta the whole square minus 0 whole divided by 2. This 2 after taking out we will have 4 by 2 which becomes 2. This a square is constant we can take out this also. So inside we will have 1 minus cos theta the whole square. After expanding which we get 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta d theta. Once again to integrate cos square theta we are going to use identity cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. So this expression can be written as 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos 2 theta plus 1 by 2. Now we can easily integrate all the terms. Integration of 1 is theta. Integration of 2 cos theta is 2 sin theta. This 1 by 2 is written outside. Cos 2 theta's integration is sin 2 theta upon 2. Integration of 1 is theta over the limit 0 to pi by 2. Now all we have to do is substitute these limits in theta. When we put pi by 2 in theta, we get pi by 2 minus 2 times sin pi by 2, but sin pi by 2 is 1, so we left with only 2, half as it is, sin 2 times pi by 2, 2, 2 gets cancelled, then sin pi is 0, 0 by 2 left, plus pi by 2, then minus, substituting 0 in theta, we get 0, sin 0 is 0, sin 2 times 0 is 0, and theta when substituted 0 in it becomes 0. So all terms after substituting lower term becomes 0. Further simplifying this we get this is equal to 2a square into pi by 2 minus 2 plus pi by 4 which is same as 2a square into 3 pi by 4 minus 2. So we can say that this is the area of the region bounded by cardioids r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta and r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. I hope guys you understood all these examples. Through these examples we have seen how to calculate area of the region described on polar coordinate system. Now it is your turn to solve examples. Following are couple of examples that I have left you for practice. Their final solutions are also mentioned so that you can tally your answer. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. And if you have liked these videos, please click on the like button and share among your friends. I will be coming with more such interesting concepts in my upcoming videos. Till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.